As in all matters, counsel needs to know the particulars and the real deal. Accurate information is everything. We've been in bargaining for a couple of months, and frankly, it is not going well for city workers. You may not have been informed on the details. I'd like to give them to you. The administration announced at the final budget summit meeting a 3% wage increase. The fact of the matter is, that is not what is on the table. Mm -hmm. This is public record. Yes, there's a 3% general wage increase being proposed, as well as the elimination of step plan for blue collar and the elimination of merit increases for white collar. What does that mean? Merit increases for white collar equal 3%. Take 3% away and give 3%, you can do the math. It's a big zero. For blue collar, the impact is even greater. 7% of the bargaining unit is being forced to take a 10% wage reduction under this proposal. That's nearly $2 per hour pay cut on average. Every single one of the 700 plus blue collar workers will feel that 10% cut during the next eight years if the administration's concessionary proposal stays. To top the deception off, police and fire will be receiving 3% or more along with their step increases. Mm, that ain't right. Today, every single blue and white collar worker in here knows how the administration values their contributions to the city. They are righteously angered and righteously bitter. Like I said, this is a matter of public record which we will be providing to you. The fact is you can't call this a progressive and fair city for all when you're decreasing wages while the city coffers are full. Instead of catching up after years of sacrifice, more and more city workers will be falling out of the middle class. It's hypocritical and it's shameful. To top that off, we still have scores of workers making poverty wages. You've been misinformed on that as well. Last year we made the proposal for a 1250 minimum wage. The administration said no. Not once, not twice, three times. When they finally did agree, proclamations were made about how the city gave it to folks, completely dismissing the hundreds of phone calls, the talking to neighbors, the building of public support to end poverty in St. Pete, done by hundreds of city workers, which we do every night of the week, all year, as many of you know. The day before our last negotiating session, the administration announced they had a plan to bring every worker to $15 an hour by 2020 proposal we've had on the table for two years. We have not up, seen we have not seen a single proposal from the administration across the table on this issue. Thank you. And one more thing. Thank you. We will not engage in collective Rick. begging. We will do by any Rick, and all means speak necessary. Everybody speak for six minutes. We will do by any all means necessary to work. Thank you. Thank you. You'll be here in Mr. Nurse. 